Hello everyone! You can obtain several information about smartphone life cycle in this video. So let's start our journey if you want to learn more about your smartphone. Before we start, do you know anything about a smartphone? There are 3.2 billion smartphone users in this world until 2019. The average time that will spend by a user on their smartphone is 2.55 hours per day. 3 million applications are available for a smartphone user and 90% of user time are spent on the application. Also, 74% user of smartphone spending their time and money on the mobile game application. Besides with calling and messaging people, what you can do with your smartphone? First, you can do online shopping, doing e-wallet transaction or cashless payment such as paying bills, food or etc. Number 2, with mobile network and internet connection, you can share or gain information from share engine, doing online mapping, communication with others, and scrolling your social media. Number three, our smartphone had built up with high-tech camera where we can take beautiful picture and video with camera. Inside, we can also use editing application from the application store to edit our video and pictures. Number four. We can do our joint live streaming everywhere, watching videos and movies, and also playing mobile games. Before we jump into smartphone life cycle, let's learn about smartphone evolution. In 2003, 3G mobile data revolution has been started and allow people to use internet. Touch screen smartphone has been developed in 2007 along with application and Google Store. In the year of 2009, the first smartphone with wireless charging has been developed by Samsung company. But in the year 2010, Apple company has also developed their own tablet called iPad together with Siri function and fingerprint scanner. The year of 2012 has marked the new era with 4G network and waterproof phone development. Dual camera and 4K HDR resolution display has been developed in 2014. In 2016, face recognition technologies and online payment has been started. And in 2019 until today, 5G network with superior data speed has been developed. We are now at our main topic smartphone life cycle assessment we will learn about smartphone life cycle assessment from cradle to grave it starts from raw material acquisition to production phase and then into the distribution and transportation phase and usage phase and lastly the end of life phase in the raw material acquisition phase Gold, silver, copper, tin, tungsten, silicon, indium, gallium, arsenic, boron, phosphorus, antimony, cobalt, terbium, yttrium, gadolinium, europium, neodymium, praseodymium will be extracted from earth for manufacturing and production of smartphone. Next, in production phase, all production are include integrated secret production, part production, display production, product assembly, and product packaging. All of the production process and distribution activities are using energy, water, and fuels. We will now move to distribution and transportation phase. Smartphone distribution to worldwide need to use airplane, truck, train, ship, and van as transportation and all of the transportation methods require the usage of fossil fuels. The next phase for smartphone lifecycle assessment is usage phase. Smartphone users are assumed to use their phone for average 2 to 3 years. The usage of smartphone will associate with mobile network, wireless network, and application such as mobile gaming, chatting application, video streaming, and etc. The last phase of smartphone lifecycle assessment is end of life phase. 
the end of life for smartphone in recycle center, the discarded smartphone that still can work properly will be collected by organization or collection points. The smartphone that cannot reuse are separated properly to salvage the part that still work and can be reused and recycled by others. If the smartphone is dumped into landfill, people still don't know the importance of a good disposal of a smartphone. The devices that ending up in trash and territory landfill can potentially cause environmental problems. Smartphones should be discarded properly under e-waste category. From the smartphone life cycle, we can assess the impact of smartphone on the environment. In the raw material acquisition phase, it takes a lot of acid and other toxic chemicals to extract the material from their environment and isolate just 1% or less for production. The 99% left is dumped into the nature and by doing that over and over again, our smartphone contributes to a systematic increase in concentration of substances produced by society. Mining process to extract the material can cause erosion, sinkholes, loss of biodiversity, and contamination of surface and groundwater. In a production phase, smartphones can cause global warming potential. 80% of global warming potential come from production phase, 10% from transportation phase, and another 10% from other phases. Two over three of production activities that can cause global warming potential have come from IC production and one over three are from other production. Production activities has bigger global warming potential because the usage of electricity in production. The electricity uses for production activities are actually consuming fossil fuel. Fossil fuel consumption are also used in transportation phase. That is why transportation contribute 10% to global warming potential. In global warming potential, usage pace actually contributes smallest impact. The global warming potential for average of 3 years smartphone usage and battery charging for every 2 days will produce 57 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. So the total for each year are 19 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. But the network usage for mobile data and Wi-Fi will increase the total per year, which is 62 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. The usage of network has increasing the global warming potential. Next, we will see the other environmental impact from smartphone materials. Cadmium is dangerous if inhaled or ingested. Some cases of inhaling will lead to metal film fever and this could result in death. Lead. Lead is dangerous to animals and human nervous system and causes pain disorder. Beryllium can cause hazards include toxic poisoning, tissue corrosion of plants, and cause a life-threatening disease called berylliosis. Colton causes mass erosion of the land, bringing pollution to lakes and river. It can affect human life. Mercury Mercury poisoning can result in several diseases, including acrodynia, hunter rizal syndrome, and Vinamata disease. So after we have learned about the smartphone impact on environment, now we need to know how to minimize the smartphone impact to the environment. First, material to produce the smartphone will have to be kept in technical loop so they don't build up in nature. Or, the material will have to produce with energy that does not involve in extraction and combustion of fossil fuel at any point smartphone life cycle. Second, Slowing down the extraction process and cleaning all the toxic material can help the nature regenerate and clean itself and avoid the accumulation of man-made chemicals. Third, to avoid disturbing the ecosystem completely, we need to make sure the mining places are kept clean, uncontaminated, and restored 
after the element extract. Number 4. Apple Company has developed DZ, which is disassembling robot for iPhone, was designed to collect and recycle tin, gold, tungsten, and tantalum element in a smartphone. Number 5. Smartphone should not end up in the landfill because it will deteriorate the local ecosystem and potentially contaminate the groundwater. The conclusion for this video is First, we are only contributing more to climate change and digging into our natural capital as opposed to living off the interest right now. Second, 66% of smartphone users are addicted to their phone according to a trend hunter study and it's very dangerous to human psychological health. Smartphone companies should focus more on earlier stage of product life cycle such as making the smartphone repairable and upgradable rather than need to buy the new one. Last one is, as a smartphone user, we should act with responsible on using our smartphone. Before changing new phone, consider in getting the second hand phone or repairing the phone. If it was already at the end of life stage, make sure you dispose it properly.